Hello so guys, today I'm going to show you what you can do if your OBS Studio isn't responding, if it doesn't open up or if you get like some freezes and stuff like that. So first of all what you want to do is you want to make sure that your drivers are up to date. What you do is you want to go to the search bar, go to device manager and if you don't have that just go ahead and search it up really easily. So once we open that up, we'll get this. And you want to go over to display adapters, double click, go to your GPU. You want to go to driver and on here go to update driver. And that's how you actually can update your drivers really easily. And that's how you can maybe fix it. So just by updating your drivers guys, it's cool to actually fix it. But what I recommend you guys to use is a GeForce experience. The reason why is it's a lot easier to update your drivers on here. So what you do is you double click. <coughs> you simply go to drivers and what you can do is really easy. Check for updates and we'll actually get like a update if it's available for your uh, GPU. And you can just update it from here. Really easy guys. So I recommend you always to get this GeForce experience. So you can always get up to date and don't have like problems on some games, OBS Studios, Streamlabs and stuff like that. So let's just close it off. And the reason why is most likely your OBS Studio is really important uh, because most likely it just uses your GPU the most and that's basically it. Now let's just go ahead and go to the next fix. Go to the search bar and you want to go over to your task manager. On here you want to go to performance and I want to make sure that something like an editor program or something like that isn't open up. So for example if you have an editor program or a program that takes too much RAM guys it could happen that it's not allowing some other applications to open up. And that's the reason why it could actually happen. So make sure that there's at least maybe some couple gigs of RAM available so you can actually use them. And guys, I recommend you guys to get at least 8 gigs of RAM to use OBS Studios so you don't run into problems like that. So let's just close that off. If you made sure that nothing is wrong with your uh, usage of your RAM and CPU, let's go to the next fix. So for the next fix, you want to go to your search bar and you want to go over to settings. Or what you also can do is really easy, right click and go to display settings. Because we have to go to display settings over here. And now, you want to go over to graphic settings over here. And let me just remove this really quickly so I can show you guys how I, how I actually added that. You want to go to desktop app or if you have something called the classical app, you want to click on that. Now click on browse. Now you want to click on windows. And you want to go to program files or program files 86 or windows. So it will be saved up in one of these files. Mine is saved up on program files. I want to click on that. And then I want to go over to OBS Studio. Double click. Go to bin and also double click on that. Go to 64 bits or 32 bits, cl double click on that and go to OBS 64 or OBS 32 and just click once on here. Just click once guys and click on add. Go to options and now click on power saving and check that mark. Click on save and now close off your settings and go ahead and start off your OBS studio. And now see if it works out for you or not. But most likely guys want to try this one out. It will work out for you perfectly fine. And that's how you can just test it out. So let's just say it still doesn't work out for you guys. What I would recommend you to do is right clicking. And you want to go over to run as administrator. And that's basically the video guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like and also subscribe. Thank you so much for watching guys. And you can also follow me at Twitter and Instagram. I'll leave a link in the description down below. So if you have some other questions, you can just leave them in the comments down below. Also guys, if it worked out for you, you can also leave that. Or if it didn't, you can also just leave that in the comments down below. So take care guys and goodbye.